What's going on YouTube? 413 Fitness here. And um, this is my warm up set of 135. Um, I had a friend work out with me. You can see him in the mirror there. Um, my homeboy Tay from high school. And right here we had shoulder shrugs with 35 pounds um, on each arm. Really, um, we were talking and we just wanted to work on our traps right here. So we both did it. Um, and this was a super set with pull ups to work on my back. And leg presses right here, 205 um, on each side. And um, on Instagram, I see I received some uh, credit, well, critiquing on my leg press form. And I do go um, knees to chest on um, leg press, but certain times I do um, change my form, I guess you could say that, to um, hit my hamstrings more. I got it from Kelly Burke, um, if anybody is interested. Um, and right here we have bicep curls, um, 50 pounds, easy bar with the um, easy bar. And I feel like my biceps are coming along. I felt like it was a weak point and I brought it up some. It could be um, better, but I'm working on it and it's going to get better. And that's just a rule of thumb. If you want something to get better, you need to schedule a program or have somebody schedule a program for you to allow you to do that. Um, as far as nutrition and um, exercise, why? Right here we had tricep push downs, my favorite exercise if you know you've been watching my channel. Um, with 50 pounds. And we use a different apparatus than I normally use, and I like that one a little bit more. And um, also, my favorite exercise if you've been watching my channel, uh, rows of any kind. High rows, and this right here is um, low rows. Well, no, this is um, just regular rows. The next exercise is low rows, but um, one of my favorite exercises to do. Um, once you find exercises you like, I suggest you to incorporate them into your program so that way you actually enjoy going to the gym and working out. And um, yeah, I just feel like if you want something to grow, you need to schedule it accordingly and right here these are the uh, hammer strength low rows with, um 80 yeah 80 pounds that's a 45 and a 35 um yeah my headphones fell out right there but um i love doing rows just a great back exercise and great lat exercise um if you're looking to get a wider back or a thicker back this is the way to go you need to do rows and again, um, leg press and calf, um, calf raises super set with 135 on each side. Um, I do see why people do go knee to chest, but there are other ways to do it. I'm not saying my way is right or Kelly Burke's way is right. That's who I got it from. But I mean, my, I see results and that's how I do it. I do go knee to chest too also. So I can't just say I strictly do this type of form whether it's bad form or not it works for me um but i do suggest that if you are a beginner that you do go by the book and you do everything the right way and then once you start to get more into fitness and knowing your own body because that's what it comes down to your own body not the textbook way all the time um and just go from there really with any exercise but make sure you do practice good form in the beginning so you do get a good basis and you don't hurt yourself in the beginning. Right here we have leg extensions um, at 130. And um, these are a great exercise for your quads. If you really want to um, get that teardrop or that um, separation in your quads, this is that's a great exercise to do it. Also leg press too um, and squats. And chest flies right here at 205. These are um, pec deck chest flies. And these right here are seated cable chest flies, um, which was a superset from the um, previous exercise. This is at 60 pounds. And I believe this is my last exercise. No, my next exercise at lunges. But right here, um, chest flies. I did my single arm movements. If you heard me talk about it before, you should always do single arm or single joint movements followed by the um, dual arm or dual joint movements to um, prevent muscle imbalances and right here we got walking lunges with 45 pound dumbbells this is 413 fitness